Yo, what is going on, Boston? It's another episode of Dirty Water TV, and we are on the Cape here in Orleans. That's right. Kevin and I just arrived, and we have some fans here already, Kevin. Die-hard Dirty Water TV fans. What's, what's going on? What's going on? What do you think, Mayor? You ready? Yeah. You ready? Ready. Do it up. Love, Love that dirty water. water. You got to snap. Snap. <laughs> snap. Come on, let's go. All right, you sing it now. I, I'm going to say, before I say I'm going to cut it off and start the old. Let's let the pros do it. I love that dirty water. I love that dirty water TV. I love that dirty water. I love that dirty water TV. Dirty water TV. All over Boston you'll see. Dirty water TV. Wherever you want to be. Dirty water. Boston, you're my scene. I want to do, want to see, want to touch, want to breathe. Every inch of the city. I want to feel history. On the stars, it's the scene. In the bars, kill the teams. I love that dirty water TV. Welcome to the award-winning Lanto Bar and Restaurant. Located right off of 6A in Orleans, Massachusetts, the Lanto features delicious food, friendly service, great music, and a whole lot of local flavor. So much local flavor that it was voted the best place to meet locals this year by Boston Magazine. But don't let that throw you off. Plenty of locals and tourists alike frequent the Lanto for their live music scene and casual come as you are laid back atmosphere. And feeling hungry? Not only does the Lanto boast both a lunch and dinner menu, but they also serve up delicious late night fare until 11 p.m. All around the Lanto is definitely a Cape Cod destination you won't want to pass up. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Dirty Water TV. I am Kevin Flight. And I'm Asha Daly. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Now, Kevin, the summer tour is continuing on. Tonight, we're coming to you from the Land Ho in Orleans, Massachusetts. Yes. But it's not ending there. The summer tour is going to continue on past Orleans. We'll have all those dates and stops coming up later in the show. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, I love Orleans. I love Cape Cod. Austin, I'm sorry, I may not come back. <laughs> Orleans in, they're taking care of me, putting me up till Labor Day. I'll see you in the fall, Boston. Sorry. Permanent vacation or yeah, what? Yeah, that's what I'm going for here. We'll see, we'll see you in the cold. A little sabbatical? Yeah, exactly. Now, another place, the Orleans Inn is absolutely gorgeous, but another place that we actually visited on last year's summer tour was the last stop is the Lighthouse Inn in Dennisport, Massachusetts. Gorgeous place, and it's old school. You would like it. I, I dig it. I'm always looking for a new place to rock the bow tie. It's my thing. So Yeah, everyone dresses up for dinner, so you'd fit in probably exactly. perfectly. But Jen Mealy is actually there tonight, so she's going to show us all around. Yeah, and that is the big ticket brought to you by Higgs Ticket. Let's see what's going on, Jen. Hey guys, I wish I could join you in Orleans, but I'm on my own part of the Cape in Dennis. Dirty Water TV really is taking over all of Cape Cod. Well, I'm at the Lighthouse Inn. As you can see, I got my own little mini lighthouse behind me. I've spent the whole day here enjoying myself, relaxing. Now I want you guys to check it out. Well, this is quintessential old Cape Cod. The Lighthouse Inn is an institution here in Dennis. I like to compare it to Kellerman's of Dirty Dancing, except it's right on the water. We have a lot of uh, enjoyable things to do around here for kids to do, for families to do. There's just lots to do and an enjoyable spot to do it. Yeah, it's all right in this area. And a lot of places down the Cape, they say, you know, on the water, on the ocean. I mean, this is literal. You don't get any well, closer. It's great. You know, uh, I've always said if I have, a, have to have a place to work, this is a great spot to work because uh, when it's really beautiful, it's great when it, because you are so close to the ocean here and the beach is all around us. So we have the tables right behind us. I mean, it's literally waterfront we dining. We have <laughs> outside dining here. Um, we've just expanded our hours this year to go all afternoon from uh, lunchtime right through dinner and uh, serving outside breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's been very popular and it's working out great. And there is plenty to do during the day for those thrill seekers. Here at Aquasport, we cater to a lot of families. Um, we've got families with small kids down at age three. Eighty percent of our customers, are, it's their first time on a ski. Um, they're nervous, you know, they've never driven one before, and when they come off, they're looking, can I do it again? 
And when you're done with all the daytime activities, don't think it ends there. Plenty to do at night also. People and the music. I mean, it's a real combination, you know, over the years. While Bill does the Buffett stuff, and on Saturday nights we have Rocky King, who's been here for, you know, 51 years. I mean, how do you top that? I've been here 18 years. I, there are a lot of newbies, a lot of newbies, but there are a lot of old, those people over here, newbies, oldies. They, they love the sandbar, they love the Wild Bill show, they love coming out to the beach and you know just enjoying us, get, kicking back and doing some uh, sandbar music. We never Here's what else is going on around town. So Jen, Kevin and I were just talking about that, watching the piece on the lighthouse, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I'm digging it's cool. it. Digging it. Ooh. Yeah, but I will say that I actually sat down with the owner of the Orleans Inn, Ed Moss. You will see that interview coming up later in the show, and I think the Orleans Inn might rival the lighthouse then. Yeah, I know. Well, we will find out tonight as we are staying there. Not absolutely. together. Not together. <laughs> Not but we're staying there. And uh, after that, hey, the Dirty Water TV Summer Tour, it's going to continue. Next up, we are hitting the Muse on the island of Nantucket on July 28th. And there will definitely be a couple more stops in August. So if your bar or restaurant wants to be featured on the upcoming episode of Dirty Water TV for our summer tour, visit our website at dirtywatertv.com. Up next, it's Morgan Chase with another edition of Clark's Sunday Fun Day. And we'll hop on over to another fabulous Miller Lite bar hop when Dirty Water TV returns.